You are looking live inside Gross Point South Gymnasium, home of the Blue Devils. The prep on the road in GP. Good to be back in the house. The Blue Devils will welcome in Lance Cruz North out of Macomb. It's a Mac Red battle tonight in Gross Point, and the Blue Devils are looking to claim a title. It would be their third in the last four years under Steve Bernard. Hello again, everybody. My name is Chad Bush alongside Mac Horvath, Alex Westfall, your executive producer. Excited to be part of a great night. Well, so many great causes. Cancer awareness is one of them. That's what this game is all about, Mac Horvath. Two teams who've battled already earlier this year going at it. A lot at stake for Gross Point South in front of their home fans. And Lance Cruz North is trying to get themselves in position to be in the top four to make the tournament in the MAC Conference. Yeah, there's nothing better than playing at home on a Friday night when it comes to high school basketball. The only thing that can make it a little bit better is the opportunity that Gross Point South has, and that's to lock up a regular season league title uh, in front of that home crowd tonight. These two teams played earlier this year back on the 18th of January. It was a 10-point win for Gross Point South in that game. Mac Horvath, what stood out to you looking back uh, that both teams felt good moving away from that game despite the win for the Blue Devils. We'll start with Lance Cruz. Uh, Drew Kozell really stood out, you know, scoring 32 out of 46 in that game. Uh, a somewhat one-sided dominant performance even though he came out on the losing end of that. You know, the turnover bug kind of got him in that game. And the thing from the Gross Point South aspect was a chance that they were able to change up the defenses uh, and really force them into some uncomfortable situations and some turnovers uh, that led to that first victory. Absolutely. All right, we've got words with the head coach, Steve Bernard. His son, Anthony, one of the top players in this state, headed to Mercer. We'll highlight him quite a bit. Coach Steve Bernard's words are next. We're the prep. Thanks for having us at Gross Point tonight. Welcome back to Gross Point South High School. We're here with the head coach, Steve Bernard, as uh, he's getting his club set to take on Lance Cruz North in a special game. Let's start with the cancer awareness game, uh, a very special part of, of what this program's about, this community's about. Tonight, it's about pink, it's about beating cancer, uh, and you, sir, have brought us here to help promote it. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. Well, hats off to Tom Mercer, my freshman assistant coach, uh, we spearheaded the whole event and really, really got behind it and purchased some uniforms for the for our varsity team. We're going to be wearing some new threads tonight, so we're excited. So excited for the cause and hopefully have a big crowd and get lots of support. This team deserves support regardless of an event that's special tonight or not. They're 12-3. and three. They're undefeated in league play, and they're about to potentially win tonight the MAC Red title. Yep. What a year it's been for your team, spearheaded by your son, Anthony Bernard, committed to Mercer. Uh, just talk about what a magical season it must be so far. I know there's more to come. Sure. Uh, but take us up to date on where you guys are at. Well, it's just been, so far, it's been, it's been a great year. You know, we had a really good summer, and, you know, I got everyone back this year, and everyone grew and got better, and they're playing as a team, and they're a fun team to watch. They share the basketball and play good D and play hard, and, you know, we've had a really, really good season. We got three losses, but, you know, three losses could have been wins, and, you know, we thought we gave it everything we had in those games, and they were good learning for learning, learning aspect for us, playing, losing those three. But, yeah, we're, we're loving the season. We want to finish it out. You look at your team, and, you know, it's a team that really has played athletic, uh, that done some things in the open court. Uh, this is an athletic, long team. And, and that has to go a long way with the kind of principles you run both on the offense and the defense. Talk about how this team jives with the kind of system that you want to run. Yeah, you know, every year is different. You have to have a system, you know, that fits, fits your kids. And I had the kids last year. They just didn't have the experience. So we really had to slow it down last year and play a different brand of basketball that we're not used to playing South. Sure. And, you know, after they got that experience, game 10, maybe 11 in there, then we started to up the game a little bit last year and then, you know, the ball just kept on rolling this summer and, you know, this season. And, you know, they bought it. And I, and I have a team that loves to practice. 
Like, even if we eat, like, the day before a game, they want to get after it. Practice? Practice. Okay. Yeah, they love it. They, my team, they love, love to compete. They <laughs> love to compete against each other. And, uh, you know, so I've got good leadership, and that goes a long way with, you know, showing the younger guys who are with us this year how things are going to be done. It's always interesting to have a father-son dynamic mm -hmm. and uh, it, it, talk about what it is like. What's it like at home? What's it like here? Do you separate it? Do you try to separate it? Is it just the most fun experience of your life? It just must be a, a lot of emotions, especially with him winding down in his senior career. Yeah. I can tell you it, it's our family. It's just a little different. Uh, Nate Schwarz, my assistant coach, has been with me for four years. He coached Anthony in football his freshman year. This is offense coordinator. I brought him aboard, and uh, you know he's basically coached Anthony the last four years. I mean, they, they've they've had the relationship, and if there's any issues or got to coach him up, it, it comes from Nate. We've kind of separated yeah. uh, that, and at home we don't talk much about basketball. To be honest with you, we yeah. just uh, kind of leave it alone, and you know he knows what he needs to do, and he's in the gym, and uh, you know, but. Obviously, I'm very proud of him, and it's been a, an exciting ride for sure. I mean, we win, and we're going to finish with at least a tie of the Mac Red title. That'll be three titles even we've won in four years, you know, here, and they haven't done that here in, in a long time. So, and he's a big part of that, and South's all time leading scorer, as well as, you know, a few other records he'll leave. And, you know, he's just been good for the program. Yeah. You so. must be very proud. Great to have a, a player like that, let alone it be your son, that you get the honor of coaching. Absolutely. You've got a game tonight. You've got a team that can br give you a game. Uh, yep. Lance Cruz North, and they're an opponent that, that I know you respect quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Talk about the matchup tonight and give us some keys of some things uh, that you need to get done to get out of here with a win on Cancer Awareness Night. Well, they're you know they're every team's different, and what's different about them is they're long and they can pass the basketball. Mm. So they're not really guard heavy, but they're more wing heavy. Mm -hmm. So they can shoot it, and uh, they're disciplined. They space the floor, and they cut. They can, you know, they can score in the interior, and you know, they'll pass out of the interior. They're a good passing team. So that's something we struggle with a little bit at their place in the first game. Uh, you know, hopefully we got a good game plan tonight to maybe speed them up a little bit and uh, try to put them in some bad spots so they have to make a decision, put the ball on the floor. So, but we'll see. But we're we're excited for the challenge tonight. We're at home. You know, we tend to play better at home for the most part, unless we're playing Stevenson. And then we just play bad all the time against them at home. So, <laughs> <laughs> something about certain teams. Oh, especially in league plays. You know, I'm I'm no different than any other coach around. You know, we all have to play league play and second time around. And you know, basically we're just playing and we're not really running much because not much you can run at this point that someone doesn't know about. No doubt. So, Well, we know this. Gross Point South is a team to be reckoned with, and they are on the verge of winning the Mac Red undefeated. They're 8-0 right now in league play, 12-3 and overall. Steve Bernard, thanks for having us. Uh, pleasure to be here. What a beautiful facility uh, that you have the uh, privilege of coaching. Absolutely. Thanks it's so much. Place. Best of luck tonight. Thank you so much. All right, All right. there he is, Steve Bernard, the head coach at Gross Point South. We're coming back with starting lineups and much, much more from Gross Point. Good to be here in Gross Point Farms, Michigan. Glad you're with us. We are the prep. Are you prepared to be transformed into a better version of yourself? Shaped into a force that others can't imagine. We are part of something bigger. A force that never quits. America's Navy, forged by the sea. Check us out at Navy.com. Welcome back to Gross Point South. Chad Bush and Matt Horvath with you, getting set for Gross Point South, trying to win the Mac Red tonight. A win over Lance Cruz North would do that. We'll have the starting lineups and the start of tonight's ball game coming up right after this. Hi folks, Dr. Joe here with Michigan Orthopedic Surgeons. We all know that our wives and daughters deserve special attention, but that's especially true when it comes to their knees. Do you know that females are at a two to five times risk compared to their male counterparts when it comes to blowing out their knees? It doesn't seem fair, but it's true. The reasons include the way females are made and the way they fire their muscles. But fortunately, there are injury prevention programs out there that can greatly decrease this risk of injury. And if you do know a female who blows out her ACL, don't despair. We have neat, innovative, minimally invasive ways 
to fix their knees and get them back onto the field. For more information, go to miorthosurgeons.com. My dad and my grandfather are officials. I've grown up around officials and seeing how much they enjoy being part of the games. As a student athlete, I've always appreciated the people out there who are willing to give back to the kids. The Legacy program lets me officiate while I'm still in high school, working younger kids' games. Officiating gives me a better understanding of the game, I get to make some pretty good money for a high school kid, and I even get to spend some quality time with my dad. It was help wanted, just whistle. Welcome back to Girls Point. My name is Chad Bush alongside Mac Horvath. This is our full court prep game of the night. Cancer awareness is the theme tonight. Great uniforms uh, for the Blue Devils. Special uniforms tonight for this special game. Let's meet the Lance Cruz North Crusaders and how they will line them up tonight under their first year head coach in Zach Martin. Here's how they look. That is Adam Cook, and that is the 12th grader 6'2 guard Cook a guy that averages seven points per game. Jack Caverly, he's their point guard and a guy that chips in uh, with a few assists a game and uh, also seven points per contest. Brendan Lowry Whitney is in the middle, a big, and uh, at six foot three, the senior, the post in the middle. Connor Koki, Connor Koki, a senior, six seven. It's a long team, and Koki, a big part of what they do. He is their top rebounder in this uh, lineup, and uh, he averages nine points per game. And Drew Kozell, he's their big bomber, 19 points a game, 34% from downtown. He is the big gunner. Zach Martin is the first-year head coach and a proud graduate of uh, 2006 at Lance Cruz North, and he's assisted by Greg McBriar. Let's meet the starters tonight for the Blue Devils of Gross Point South, led by fourth-year head coach Steve Bernard, who you heard from in the pregame. That's Anthony Bernard. He's the point guard, and this is a guy that is one of the best in the state. Combo guard headed to Mercer, a scholarship player, and uh, he'll play in the SoCon and do big things. An athletic guard that can score at many levels. Carter Richards is the the, 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 the laurel to the hardy of Bernard. Carter Richards can really score it and uh, he's, he's a long shooting guard that can put it through. It's Vince Vachon at the other guard spot and Tommy McInone at one of the forwards along with Alex English at the center spot. Good size as well for Gross Point South as uh, they line it up with uh, Tommy going 6'5", and then the big 6'8", Alex English in the middle. Steve Bernard, the head coach. Nate Schwartz, an assistant along with Rob Crandell Jr. and Mike Dempsey. Chad and Mac back with you. Mac, your thoughts on this contest? Uh, Gross Point North, or uh, sorry, Gross Point South here, uh, playing at home. You want to start with momentum right away on this big night and really get off to a hot start here. And uh, Lance Cruz is going to have to settle in and not allow that to happen. All right. The jump is won by the home team. And here is Anthony Bernard. Where's number three? We'll send it cross court. And uh, off the mark, no good. So here we go. This is a first look at Adam Cook to Kozell and the Lance Cruz North Crusaders, a team that comes in 6-8. and eight. They did lose by 10 to Gross Point South in their game back in mid-January. Coach Martin talked about yesterday, a lot of, wants to see a lot of movement on offense. Good take there. That is Koki, Connor Koki to the hole. And the senior at 6'7 gets the first points of the game. South back the other way quickly. It's a miss from Vashan. And here come the Crusaders up by two. A slap away by Bernard. Glasser no good. And Richards rips it out of there and runs up that right sideline. And here comes South down to nothing. Minute gone by. Open for three. Dead spot left. No. 
And the clear out by Adam Cook. Quick possession so far by Gross Point South. Good looks, but could definitely look to attack the rim a little bit more than settling on the outside. South comes in 12 and three on the year. A perfect eight and zero in conference play. The conference is Mac Red, both these teams from there. Right now, Lance Cruz North is tied for third in the league with Chippewa Valley. They're coming off a win against Dakota. There's a left hand layup with some English off the glass. And that's Jack Caverly with a bucket, and it's 4-0 Crusaders. This is just the start you want if you're Lance Cruz North. Now between the rings. Gross Point will play catch around the perimeter. It's their ball screen offense. A lot of ball screens on the wings here. Ball reversals and then ball screens. Great offense to run here for Anthony. Bernard pull up 17-footer splash. That's Anthony Bernard. Averaging 25 a game, and he cuts the lead in half just like that. Pass down in the post, and a turnover. Zach Martin wanted a tip. And that's what Lance Cruz North's got to avoid is those early turnovers, especially there. Gross Point South mixed it up, threw a little zone press at him. Crusaders did not handle the first attempt there well. 3-5 and five in league play against 8-0 no Gross Point South. Bernard misses the three. The save back to Bernard, who does miss the layup as well. So a slow start for South. Five and a half left. 4-2 Crusaders on the road, trying to get revenge for their 10-point loss up in Macomb. A little baseline double team. Cleared out, top side to Koki. The drip, the drive, left-hand leaner again, no. That's Caverly again. And here comes Bernard looking to tie or take the lead. Richards. Bernard, or excuse me, that's not Bernard. McInone. McInone with a three off the mark. So quickly, uh, it's been a slow start offensively for South and they really have not gotten the shots that they wanted. No, yeah, a lot of quick shots so far, almost in every possession. Lance Cruz has got to get this ball swung to the other side. Kozell swings it to the far near corner, Caverly. A patient offense. Back to Kozell, who had uh, 32 in the first matchup between these two. Stepping into an 18-footer, and that is Adam Cook, spelled K-O-C-H. And the senior guard has given the Crusaders another four-point lead. Bernard off the bounce. Good close up by Koki and a turnover. Koki on Bernard there, that length, very disruptive. Kozell, no. Tip back by Lowry Whitney, no. Bounce pass to Bernard leaking out, yes! And South has cut it to two with four, 340 left in the first quarter. There's, There's a, a trap. Yep. Trap in the toe and a timeout, Steve Bernard. And just like that, the Blue Devils have come to life before us. Timeout on the floor. We'll take it with them. Three minutes, 38 seconds left in the first. Glad to be in Gross Point. Thanks for hanging out. Full court prep. All right, this is Adam. Take two. Mark? I guess. <laughs> I go like this. <laughs> the best part about playing football in Texas has to be the reaction from the community. I want to encourage others to play volleyball or choir because you get to experience new things and do stuff that you've never done before. My reason why is passion. My reason why is pride. Blue Devil basketball out of the timeout. A little bit of scrappiness to get the ball back. Maybe some energy, Mac? Yeah, definitely there. He got the good trap, loose ball, able to dive on it. Turns and, into a three. And there it is. Carter Richards, Carter with a K with a three, and it's back to a one-point game. Carter kind of the number two option for Gross Point South, a good number two option. Only a junior still, too. 
I correct myself, the score is seven to six. It's the first lead of the night for the Blue Devils. Kozell to the hole, crafty move. And he slapped on the arm. He'll go line left and try to regain the lead for the Crusaders. Cross point south again continuing to mix up the defenses. Saw a zone there. A little 3 2, 1 2 2 type zone. Look at you. You must know your defenses. Yeah. What was your favorite defense as a coach? To play against or to run? To run. Uh, to run. Uh, we had a little. little uh, Knock off of that De La Salle press. Is, yeah. That's the way to go. 1-2-2. Two, two. Yeah. Just guard him the whole length of the court. Really just be annoying to play against. That's what yeah. you want to do. Be a pest. Yep. Kozell was a pest in the first matchup for Lance Cruz North. And uh, he bangs home both free throws. The Crusaders have the lead for the moment until now. What a Bernard with a hoop and a harm. And he's starting to heat up. Bernard has regained the lead for GPS. Bernard here taking to the rim, cups it with the right hand so he can absorb the physical contact, finish at the rim. That's a D1 play right there. Looking for his seventh point. Got it. Bernard headed to Mercer. That's located in Macon, Georgia. And that's out of the Southern Conference. That's a Mid-major, high mid-major school. Competitive basketball. There's spots you don't want to catch it against the press, and one of the spots you don't want to catch it is right across half court against the sideline. Kozell with a crafty reverse, short, but showed us a little something there. Into the game comes Raphael Ross Jr. for Gross Point South, three ball no. Rebound, here comes Coke, excuse me, Cook. Kozell in the post against Carter. Short corner shot rolls home like it's friendly. Tied at 10, two to go. Kozell averages 19 a game. And uh, also chips in on the glass. There's another steal. So turnovers have been a problem for Gross Point South and for Lance Cruz North, partner. Yep, sloppy play right there. Got the Bernard, or, uh, Bernard into the turnover, and then just give it right back to him. Deep Bernard, through there. Bernard back to Carter Richards. That's short. Cruz has had opportunities to run in transition, and they just haven't taken them. They're uh, content to play a slower-paced game, I think, tonight. Looks like it early on. Kozell with a missed shot. Offensive rebound by the newly checked in Jacob Davenport. And we got a timeout on the floor. We'll keep it right here. Some scores to pass along. Brother Rice and Catholic Central are about to get underway. UAD and De La Salle about to get underway. Not too far up the road in Warren. Oak Park with a 15 to 14 lead over Clarkston. That's a OAA red battle. That is at the end of the first. And then Bluefield Hills has a one point lead over West Bluefield. 13 to 12 at the end of the first quarter. Thank you very much. So, right here it's 10 to 10. Mac, uh, what do we notice so far in this ball game? Well, so far just some quick shots from Gross Point South uh, that Lance Cruz North has been able to convert into the other end for some buckets. Still kind of turning the ball over a little bit too much. I guarantee that Coach Martin likes. But 10-10, minute 30 to go. Not a bad spot. You'll take it, right? Yep. Here comes the inbounds from Roger Silvestro II. Return pass to the post, and that's Connor Koki, spelled K-O-U-K-I. Substitution, out of the game comes number 23. That's Nate Davey. Long corner, jump shot, no. That's from Silvestro, back the other way. Carter Richards with a layup. And South has opened up their largest lead of two. It's 12-10. Here on Cancer Awareness Night. We are the prep. Glad you're with us. His name is Matt Horvath. My name is Chad Bush. We're in Gross Point Farms, which is different than Gross Point, and it's different than the woods. Are you are you in the know on Gross Point? I know I know Jamie Johnson is. 
You know, you know, a little girl's point. Did you ever? I know a little bit. Did they let you in this town, Mac? I actually lived here to start my life for about eight months. Get out of here! Yeah, oh, you're a native. Oh yeah, definitely a native. Well, that's cool. Welcome home. <laughs> out of the lineup goes Peter Uku, and uh, back in comes Vincent Vachon. There's a Bernard steal. Quickly ahead to Richards. Richards bullies his way off the glass. Counted and a foul. Carter Richards with a little flex off the window. And one. Strong finish at the rim right here. Sylvester has the opportunity to take the charge. Isn't able to do it. Turns into an and one opportunity. Carter Richards, the Batman, or the Robin to the Batman of Bernard. What a run they've been on. These two are quite the tandem. Carter Richards, a junior. Bernard, of course, a senior. Misses the free throw. Four-point lead. This is the largest. South one's trailed in this game by four. Between four is where we've stayed with a the margin. There's a cut. There's a glass or no. Kozel stick back. Yes, he has six. And the lead's cut to two. 23 seconds left in the first frame. Kozell and Koki have done a really good job around the rim so far in this first quarter. Oh, nice slip. Nice slip, screen, fouled from behind. Great hustle from Connor Koki. And a good find to the big cutting. That's Alex English, the big 6'8 center. Yep, English there, drawing the harm. Able to get to the line. Again, really good slip there. They've ran a lot of ball screens over and over. Mixes in the slip. Catches the defense napping a little bit. Free throw up and good. Two of three now in the game from the stripe. The South tries to match their largest lead, and they have. With 16 and a half seconds to go, North with one more kick of the cat. Got to push it here. Little press. Hits the middle. To the corner. Four seconds. Kozell at the buzzer. Splash City. Cuts it to one as the buzzer runs dry. And it was a quarter to remember for the Crusaders as we went back and forth a few times. Oh, we got a dandy. Nobody said the Mac Red was going to be easy to win. We're in for a battle tonight in Gross Point. Great. Participate. Where does greatness start? Here, in the classroom. On the diamond. In the pool. On the field. Where will your greatness take you? To better grades. To more friends. Yeah! Be great. Participate. <laughs> Zach Martin, the first year bench boss, doing a nice job. He graduated there in 2006. Six and eight, two and three, their best win was maybe against Stevenson. Coach Bernard told you how much of a headache Stevenson's been for their program. Tough loss was to uh, their rival, Harrison Township, Lance Cruz. Anthony Colombo, our social media director, went to Lance Cruz, the, the regular one, if you will. Semi-finalist, final four in 2012 under Tyler Conklin. And uh, we, we'll look at Tyler Conklin in a minute again because some uh, big things for that young man. He signed a uh, $21 million contract with the New York Jets last off season. Kozell with a reverser and a little sugar on top of that thing. Great effort. He's making every dad in the stands proud because he shot that and followed his shot like they like to yell from the stands. <laughs> Was able to grab the board and put it in the nice reverse. How come dads yell, follow your shot? Is that just an old school thing that dads do? Yeah, I hate to say it, but it's probably all they know too, so. <laughs> oh, I love it. Kozell line left, it's been a good night. The young man has given his team a two point lead here in a game that's already seen four lead changes and it's only 15 seconds old in the second quarter. 
Bernard finished the first frame with seven points and two assists and a couple of steals. Carter Richards also matched him with seven. Banker three, no. The banks close in Gross Point after seven. Right corner dribble drive. Gino Beely pass. Pocket left, three, no. Out of bounds, great hustle. But to no avail, Luke Lindsay on the hustle. Lindsay's committed to Elma to play college baseball. There'll be a Scott next year near Mount Pleasant. Look at him, he's built well. Oh yeah, the baseball kids are always the first ones to dive on the floor too. Don't you love it? Cozell with 11 points to lead the way in all scores. Right corner, show and go. Kick back to Alex English and he throws it into the second row. So a turnover for Gross Point South, who's been a little bit uncharacteristically loose with the lid. Yeah, a little uh, unforced errors or tougher shots. Definitely could work to get some better shots here. They ran a nice set about the last possession. Got Carter Richards a really good look. That's all you can ask for, right? A clean look. Lindsay, nothing home in the post. Kozell on the wing against Bernard. The Stars going at it. Yep. A little more length now as the 6'8 English will find the 6'7 Kozell. Cross court pass dangerous and it's stolen. Knocked away, stolen away on the run, Vashon. And it's turned over and South's going to keep it thanks to the Vashon hustle. Yeah, you can hear the North bench last possession yelling for their guys to move. Something Coach Martin mentioned to us. Good hustle by Coke to knock it free. Stepped on the line, they say, so it's going to stay, stay south ball. Richards had it swatted away. Great hands by Cook. The senior at 6'2". I like the hair. He's got, uh, he's got that California surfer boy front. I think Fish should go to that look. He's almost there. Around a screen, Bernard. Step back, mid post shot, short. Big boy rebound ripped down by Luke Klein, who's checked in, the 6'7", 11th grader. And we've got a foul and some momentum with the Crusaders, who lead by two with 6.02 to go until halftime. Yeah, getting good contributions here from the bench, too, especially the defensive end. Klein with a really good job there. Heads the ball screen. Kevin Art in front of him, which is not easy to do. No. Cook with it. Sends it right point for Klein. Into the paint, and Luke finds the cutting Kozell. How about the team ball spurred by Luke Lindsay? That's the movement Coach Martin's going to want to see the rest of the night right there. Best possession of the night. A Picasso possession for the first year bench boss, Zach Martin. And the Crusaders with some smoke in Gross Point right now. Plus four, matching their largest lead. Five and a half left till the break. Lindsay face guarding Bernard over there. Feeling confident. Open for three long. Vashon missed it, and the Crusaders continue their voyage. Forced. Forced and stolen. Bernard has his third steal of the night. And Anthony will set things up. Working against the pesky. Luke Lindsay, 5'7". Guys like this can be a headache, right, Mac? Oh, yeah, especially when they're coming off the bench because they don't care about foul trouble. Right. He's got five to play with tonight. And if he's going to play the minutes that he probably wants, he's going to use them all. And now, right now, they go to the face guard on him. It's almost like a box and one, except the rest of the team just stays in man. Now he has it one-on-one, -on -one Bernard. Short corner left, fade away, good. And he could keep him down for so long, but they made him work. It's back to a two-point lead for the Crusaders back. Yep, it's still going to be difficult if they stick with that defense. It's difficult to play against that all night, especially when you're a player like Bernard. You're used to getting a certain amount of shots and looks. How about that floater? Adam Cook with a little hop, skip, and jump down the boulevard. Richards bang near the baseline. Short corner floater answered opposite of what Anthony did in the previous possession. Yeah, South's doing a great job running the transition so far tonight. 
Two-point lead for the Crusaders in a crisp play game. That one sent into the first row, and Boo Boo there. You mentioned turnovers have been an issue this year, Mac, for the Crusaders. And in this game right now, they are minus three in the turnover ratio. Gross point after the early turnovers has been really good with the Rock. Yeah. Yeah, doing a lot better job. Richards to English, Bernard in the corner. Step back three long. And Alex English hustle, but couldn't contain it with a missile out of bounds. Smart play by Bernard. Early, that could be coming from Coach Bernard too, mixing up uh, where they get Anthony the ball. It got him the ball on the block right there, showing his versatility as a player. Lance Cruz coming off their best win of the year. They beat Dakota back on Wednesday night, 46-35. As they try to hold on to it here, Luke Lindsay on the floor. And they're going to get the foul on Vincent Vachon. But look, it, it was after they were down by six at halftime. It was an 11-point win. Held Dakota to just 14 points in the second half. This looks like they're still riding that momentum, Mac. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. They uh, outscored... Dakota by 14 in the second half. Yeah. Second half, or uh, excuse me, 20. Right. That's yeah, a big time uh, comeback. And look, Dakota may not be as good as they've been in the last year or two, but it's still Dakota. And, and it's a team that is well respected in this conference. Some other scores to pass along. Rochester Adams leads 12 to 5 over Ferndale. That's at the end of the first. Turnover here. Richards on the run. Three on three. Floats it down. Right block. Lay it up and good. Credit the basket to Nate Davey, the 6'5 junior. Tied at 22. Deuces are wild with 2.22 to go, and the score tied at 22. Throw ahead, Richards. Left hand laying long. Kozell with the rebound and numbers. Dangerous pass ahead. Stolen by English. Three on one, Richards back, right block, lay in good. Back to back buckets from Davey. And South has regained the lead by two with two to go until halftime. North has got to get organized here in the press break. There they go, they get Lindsay in the middle. Too often there they've had guys standing in the same spots. Caverly back to Lindsay, yeah, it's been bunched up a bit. Kozell between two defenders, rolls it up, count it, and the foul. Oh, this kid Kozell got a little bit extra in his tank against this club. Great finish here. Good strong take. He can absorb the contact from English and is able to finish with the right. So line left goes Kozell. He's had a profitable night at the strike. Kozell with 16 points now. And uh, a perfect three of three from the charity stripe. Looking to add to it here, and it would be the sixth lead change. As you get a look at the first year head coach, Zach Martin, missed the free throw, got his own rebound. Fade away from the short corner left. Get out of here. My goodness. Kozell putting on a clinic. Give him 20 here in the first. Coach Martin said he could fill it up. Three games this year, he scored over 30 points. Man, on his way to maybe a fourth tonight. Richards with a Gino Beely pass, that's pretty. Cross to Bernard who looks to his bench as his father cups the call with his right hand. His dad, Steve, saying what a pleasure it's been to have him as a son, as a player. Bernard just rips, drives, and floats to the hole to tie this all at 26 with 60 seconds left, Mac. Isolated him on the side, able to work to his dominant right hand. Caverly with a drive, missed the shot. Kozell there, no, stick back, no. Three cracks, they couldn't get it. Bernard on the run, hot knife through, butter to the hole with a lay-in. And South and the Blue Devils have regained the lead by two with 35 left till the break. Back and forth we go tonight. Oh, it's been fun, don't go anywhere. Tom Mercer will join us at halftime. He's the sponsor and owner of 
Mercer Auto Home Life and Commercial Insurance. Lowry Whitney with a great finish with the right hand there. Showing the athleticism from the big fellow. About it, Brendan with a big bucket. The 6'3 senior ties this thing at 28. Seven seconds left, Bernard with the basketball. Pull up, three ball, no. And that's how the first half will end. Oh, we got a dandy in Gross Point. And we've got Tom Mercer coming up next. We thank Mercer Auto, Home, Life, Commercial, Farm Bureau Insurance. Tom Mercer is next right after this. 28 all at the break from Gross Point. Your dream, your drive, your grit, the heart and vision of every member of your team. We take it all, and from those threads of greatness, we weave a uniform of a champion. In many ways, our sport is just like yours. We've brought together a team of elite designers. We've put in the time and the sweat, perfecting our craft over 14 years. We've outfitted thousands of teams for thousands of victories, approaching each new project, each new game, like it's the only one we'll ever play. And let's be honest, we've done it all with a quality so unmatched that some can't help but call it perfection. You know, it's more than just a shirt. Look like a champion, play like a champion. A champion powered by the G. Hashtag G Brand USA. G Brand USA. Elite design, unmatched quality, American pride. We're proudly made in the USA. Are you prepared to be transformed into a better version of yourself? Shaped into a force that others can't imagine. We are part of something bigger. A force that never quits. America's Navy, forged by the sea. Check us out at Navy.com. There's just one place where students are students first, and athletics are played with purpose and perspective. That place is your local high school. High school sports offer more than the joy of competition. Studies show that student athletes are also likely to enjoy greater levels of achievement in other areas of their lives, including academics. High school sports, a winning part of a complete education. Welcome back to Gross Point South High School, and we have solved absolutely nothing. <laughs> After 16 minutes of play, we're tied at 28. Lance Cruz North trying to spoil the celebration of Gross Point South, trying to claim and continue their undefeated Mac Red season. Welcome back, my name is Chad Bush. We have a very special guest. His name is Tom Mercer, and uh, we'll start first with the business side of things. Okay. Uh, Tom is the owner and operator of Mercer Agency, and they cover auto, home, life, and commercial. And uh, Tom has been generous to sponsor this broadcast tonight, and so we really appreciate it. And uh, Tom, it's an extra special cause. It's it's cancer awareness. Yep, it's coaches versus cancer. Coaches versus cancer, and and what a better representative to talk about <laughs> coaches beating cancer than a coach yeah. who has beat cancer and is kicking its butt. Trying. Uh, Tom, and, and, and we thank you for joining us. Yeah. Welcome. Great to be here. Uh, Tom, you've done many things in your career. You played football at Western Michigan. I did. I did. You've worked for many athletic uh, and, and footwear uh, yep. companies. Um, but you're back home where, where you want to be and, and coaching at Gross Point South High School. Yep. Talk about your journey and where you're at now with life in Gross Point. Okay. Yeah, we moved here a little over three years ago. I think it was the summer of 19, so just in time for – uh, you know, get acclimated before COVID hit, but we also got a double dose of uh, almost five years ago, I was first diagnosed with two different cancers within a 30 day period. And that, you know, we thought we were, were good getting through that. And then the, the day that the moving trucks were showing up in Gross Point, we got a third diagnosis and had to schedule a surgery um, that was um, 
you know, it's it pretty intense. You know, moving the family to a new area, we're moving here from Chicagoland mm -hmm. um, and getting settled and then getting the news like that. But, you know, the community has been so great to our, our family, our kids, um, and have really poured out. And, and, you know, we love it here and want to stay. To be clear, you are winning this battle and you are still battling. I, I am and, still and battling, yeah, I've got. Uh, congratulations well, on this you. battle. Yeah, I've got and then another year and a half before I can say I'm cancer free. Okay, well you're doing great things and we're with you. Well thank and, you, appreciate uh, it. We thank you for your generosity. You. Uh, let's talk about your position here. You've, you've taken a position as a JV football coach yep. at Gross Point South. Yep. And you're also currently coaching the freshman basketball as yeah. an assistant. How fun has it been for you to kind of shift your career and, and tell us why you decided maybe to shift your career a little bit and get more into the coaching side of things. Yeah, it's been great with, um, you know, with going through the change health wise, it, it definitely opens your eyes to you're never guaranteed tomorrow yeah. and really wanted to do some things that we could give back to the community. Um, so started coaching football first at the JV level and then kind of got it in the blood and wanted to do a little bit more and sure. took on the freshman uh, assistant basketball job here as well and be able to work with the kids. And, you know, just really serve as a mentor, I mean, especially after COVID. I mean, you see sure. that these kids have gone through so much oh, and yeah. just be another resource that can pour into them. And again, giving back to the community of, uh, you know, my, my three priorities are, are my faith, my family, and our community. And, and you know, want to continue to look for ways to give back. Yeah. How receptive has this community been? Uh, you came here and, and this, you know, it's, this was the welcoming. Certainly they didn't give you, uh, but they've helped respond with you and, and embraced you and you've really embraced them yeah, and yeah, given the, back. The community has been great. Yeah. Um, and there's so many people that played pretty significant roles within our family when we moved here and didn't even know it, yeah. but they were just loving on our kids. I mean, yeah. they knew that my wife and I we had to go out of town for I was in the hospital for, I think it was 11 days with the, the surgery. And, um, you know, they were just pouring into our kids, not knowing exactly what was going on. But it was huge. Yeah. It was huge. That's got to be warm. You're giving back now. Let's talk a little bit about the business. And, yep. and I know you wanted to get into the business to give back as yep. well. Uh, talk about the real drive to, to, to open up the Mercer Agency. Yeah, I mean, it, probably the, the biggest thing that, that uh, pushed me to get involved was in June of, I think it was 20, we had the severe flooding in the Detroit area. Oh, yeah. Our neighborhood was hit really hard. This whole community was hit pretty hard. Uh, we were blessed that we only had about a foot and a half of water in the basement, whereas some of our friends had, you know, three, four, you know, as high as five feet. And, you know, we were also blessed that we had an agent um, that's from the Grand Rapids area that took great care of us and made sure we had proper coverage. And it broke my heart because we were out of town when the flooding happened. We came back in and you saw all these homes just hauling all their stuff out to the curb. And it just felt, you know, like somebody just cut, yeah. you know, punched you in the gut. Yeah. I wanted to do something. And I never did I think insurance would be the road to do it. But, you know, then an opportunity <laughs> came up and met some people. And it just felt like the right thing to do. Yeah. It's awesome. What a great story. What a uh, somebody who's persevered, given back. And folks, hopefully, have given back to you no, they'd have. Uh, in this battle. I know we're 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 certainly with you and oh, your journey. I appreciate it. We're thankful for giving back and providing this great broadcast. Uh, lastly, what are your thoughts on this game? It's tied at 28. Uh, you guys are going for the league yeah. title. Give us the coach mode here. What what's going on at this point, and what do you look for in the second half? You know, I think it's been one of those things of it. February is always that tough month for high school basketball. And you get in it and you start to get a little bit worn down, especially when you get sick and everything else. Our kids look a little bit flat, not to take anything away from Lance Cruz North. They played very, very well sure. and they're a good team. Um, you know, I think we just got to keep pushing the tempo. This is uh, Tom Mercer of the Mercer Agency. Check him out. And we're going to give you the number. We're going to give you the uh, email as you see it right there on the screen. Mercer Agency, get them for auto, home, life, commercial, 586-3, excuse me, 586-265-2304 or themerceragency.com. And it's a Farm Bureau insurance company and a Michigan company. And, uh, Tom, we can't thank you enough for your generosity. And uh, we really appreciate you being a part and coming on and yeah, hearing your story. It's my pleasure. Uh, blessed to have you be a part of this program. It's good to meet you guys. And thank you so much for your support. Sounds good. All right, there he is. That's Tom Mercer. Thank you. We're coming back with first half analysis, scores, highlights, and much, much more coming up right at, after this. We're tied at 28 from Gross Point South. <laughs> I go like this. <laughs>
The best part about playing football in Texas has to be the reaction from the community. I want to encourage others to play volleyball or choir because you get to experience new things and do stuff that you've never done before. My reason why is passion. My reason why is pride. Welcome back to Gross Point South. 28 all, Matt Horvath, your thoughts on this first half that saw a lot of action both ways. Big time stars stepping up. Yeah, Lance Cruz North doing a great job in the first half. Uh, Drew Kozell, really dominant half with 20 points and really stepped up in place of Koki, who was sitting for some of that set first half with two fouls. So we'll keep an eye on that foul trouble. Carter Richards topside, and we've got a foul. And they're going to get Brendan Lowry Whitney, the senior at 6-3. Some scores to pass along at halftime. West Bloomfield 25, Bloomfield Hills 21. And Graham Blank 14, Davison 9. That's the end of the first quarter. Adams and Ferndale still at 12-5 at last check up in Rochester. That's across the street from Jam Jan's mansion. The layup is short. From Bernard, that's an oddity. Yeah. They leave Caverly open. Coke, excuse me, Cook with it. They've got Cokey and Cook, and Cook looks like Coke. <laughs> it's a broadcaster's nightmare. <laughs> and they're all playing well in a part of the game. Oh, I gotta love it. They all look alike, too. They do. Adam Cook with it. That's poked away by the lengthy Alex English at 6 8. One minute gone by, second half. Kozell to the right block, two timed, and it's short. English with a wall up and a stop. Richards on the run and stripped from below by Cook. Richards does a great job of getting out in transition. South does a great job of pushing the pass to him. Are they There's, gonna give him free throws? Yeah, a little confusion here. Richards, great take. Good slap away again by Cook. That's what, the third time we've seen that tonight. Yes, it is. He's got good hands. They will not give him free throws. Ball out of bounds, baseline left. Carter with a K, Richards to trigger, and now the officials want to chat a little more. They might be talking about getting to the Mercer Agency after. <laughs> Where are we headed after? Well, after, we after the foul. Mercer Agency. Do you live by here, Fish? Okay, well, how, we're not going to go across town to the west side. There you see Steve Bernard. Steve Bernard. Not Bernard. There's a bounce pass too low for English at 6'8". That's not the spot to get a big man, right? No, no. Bounce pass is uh, hitting him in the knees. Kozell to the right corner for Cook. His big man wants it in the block. Big man wants to eat. Nothing home. Koki had it stripped and ripped by Carter. And he got busted for it. Yeah, it really looks like an effort here in the second half to get Koki back involved, getting the ball in his hands early in some spots where he can attack or by the rim. Yeah. Could have been a clean strip there. A great call. Koch to set up shop against man-to-man. -man. Lob to the right block. Lowry Whitney with another lay-in. Lowry Whitney fading away from eight feet. Great drop step, using his body, using that weight to his advantage. Between the rings, Richard working against man-to-man. -man. Crossover, kick left corner, and the three goes down. 
That's McInone, Tommy McInone, the 6'5 senior with a triple. And South has regained the lead by one. Looks like South is turning up the defensive pressure here. Mm -hmm. Coke had it ripped by Bernard, no call. Zach Martin wanted it. Ball out of bounds, baseline right. Crusaders will keep it. Referees have been putting in some tough spots early in the second half. About the same strip we've seen three times in a row. Right. There's it again. Every time one coach wants it out of bounds, the other one wants it to be a foul. Uh-huh. There's another one. Kozell had it ripped. This South team's really good at it. Carter to the hole. The Richards rip and finish. South by three. 33-35, 20 left in the third. South just a lot more locked in on defense right now than they were in the first half. A lot more energy, a lot more hands in the lanes. Nothing coming easy for Lance Cruz North. No, sir. This is a three-level score in Kozell. Goes back to that right block to Lowry Whitney, who forces it up and draws the foul. So Lowry Whitney becoming a bit of a storyline in this second half. Yeah, Cruz North, they outnumber them as far as big guys go. Gross Point South's got two guys that are over 6-4, and North's got three, and they're gonna find the mismatch on the block last few times. Lance Cruz has a little bit of depth, too, that they like. They got Davenport off that bench, a six-man, and Sylvester, or Silva Street, Klein, Lindsey. Substitution here, Alex English will check out, and returning to the lineup. Yeah, what did Coach Martin say? Like they like to go nine deep right now? Yeah, yeah. That's a blessing. It is, and especially when you've got 6'5", six, 6'7", six, seven, six, seven, six, Some good length. Dangerous pass. Baseline left, forced up shot, no. That's Peter Uku. Carter Richards to reset. Here's Anthony Bernard. Working against Caverly, they'll Turn ISO out. him. Yep. Three ball, long. Bricked off the glass. Kozell with some space. Can't finish. There goes South in transition again. Tommy McAdone starts it, but it's finished by Vince Vashon. And South has a three-point lead. Neither team is led by more than four in this game. Really amazing. Yep, first half, biggest lead for both teams was four. Seven lead changes. Hmm. We have a dandy. And we have some substitutions as well. Back into the lineup returns Raphael Ross Jr. Along with number 23, Nate Davey. Getting English a blow. Those big guys are making them work down there. Mm-hmm. Lob to the post, two timed, nearly stripped but contained, and the second time was a charm for Connor Koki. Yeah, Cruz North is gonna pound that ball down to the post, it seems like, especially in the second half. Nice skip pass. Bernard between two defenders, floats it up, in and out, but drew contact, and he earns two shots from the strike. Seems like Cruz North has went away from that face guarding. Yeah. Why do you think so? You know, well, they got the starters in, so that could be a reason. You know, you do got Koki with two, even though he probably wouldn't draw that assignment. It might be something specifically for Luke Lindsay when he comes off the bench. Lindsay played some prime minutes back in the first, so they will check. Koki out. Yep, three on him now. That's his third. That's a problem. If your head coach Zach Martin, who's done a fine job in his first year, his team six and eight, two and three, coming off their best win of the year on Wednesday night against Dakota. They overcame a six-point deficit at halftime and would limit Dakota to just 14 points in the second half. His team working on turnovers, trying to get better. The effort has been there tonight, and that's another effort play, Matt. Yep, yep. Coach Martin mentioned it about their guards getting involved in the rebounding. 
Use the war analogy. We all rebound. I like that. Did you use that as a coach? What was your Actually, favorite it, acronym? It, that was written on the wall at Melvindale when I got the job, and I said, you know what, I kind of like that. We'll just, we'll just keep that there. <laughs> oh, the Cardinals. You were a Cardinal coach, huh? Yeah, yeah, before Divine Child. Okay. Uh, Lance Cruz North right now with an edge in the rebounding department, I believe, Mac. Yep, 21 to 13. Inside they go again. Double team, triple teamed, and we've got a turnover, and they are going to get a conversation, I think. Traveling's the call. The traveling's called on Peter Uku, and Lance Cruz is going to get this back. Ah, uh, yeah. Got knocked over with the ball. Cook, pull up, soft, jumper from 15. And the lead is back to just one for the Blue Devils. All the way to the hole, the layup. Up and good by Raphael Ross Jr. Quick answer. Back to three. Calverly dumped down to the block, gets it back on the return pass from Klein at 6-7. Kozell cuts through to the hole, hot knife through butter, and holding on for dear life is Ross. And once again, Gross Point South really turning it up on that defensive ball pressure. Continue it at the start of the third quarter here in the second half. Get a look there. Kozell hits the deck. Big man shakes it off. Big man or never. <laughs> It's been a big night for Kozell. 18 points, and he misses his second straight free throw. Seven of 15 from the floor for the big fella. And he misses his third straight free throw. So three straight makes, three straight misses. And we sit at a three point gross point south uncomfortable lead at home on a Friday night. Yeah, Norris got to continue to battle here. Kozell's. I don't, I don't think he's scored a point here in the second half. He's definitely going to have to be a factor in the second half if North is going to pull the upset here and kind of play spoiler tonight. Quite an adjustment by the Steve Bernard, Gross Point South defense. And another clear out here. Anthony with a push on that baseline. So Caverly is going to pick it up. That's going to be his fourth, I believe. It's tough there when they can clear him on the right or left side. Defense might, not, might start to sag a little more his way than they are now. Bernard shakes, step back, 17 footer too long. Kozell with a rebound, three on two, evolving. Klein, nowhere to go. Good close out by Uku. Back to Klein in the paint, finger roll good. Credit the assist and the share of the sugar from the cook. Yeah, great dish there by Cook. Great effort. A little deep dish pizza by the Cook. We got some great pizza tonight, thanks to the fine folks. Gross Point South. North really battling tonight. Using that momentum from Wednesday's win against Dakota to keep it going tonight. Fresh Farms Market Pizza, by the way. If you're scoring at home, that's where we got some delicious grub from. Those were good slices. Great host here at Gross Point South. Mr. Wheeler, the athletic director, and Mr. Dave also doing great things. Three ball no, rebound Caverly. Gonna set up shop for North, who trails by just one. Lance Cruz North looking to get Kozell off the schneid in the second. Back to Klein, Klein floater, got it. Klein with another bucket and a timeout and a turnover, I believe in the backcourt. What happened, Mac? Cook just paying attention, being scrappy, trying to get that inbound. Doesn't come away with the ball. The contributors around Kozell are really stepping up right now. Back-to-back -back finishes by Klein. Kozell being guarded a lot tougher in the second half. Hard double there by Gross Point South, and he makes the dish to Klein and can finish it. 5 nothing run, and Lance Cruz North is in the lead. Bernard around his screen. 
Nice, Gino Beely pass, dead spot left, 4-3, that's short, but a beautiful setup. Davey missed it short, foul in the backcourt, and it's gonna go on Uku. That'll be his fourth foul, and that will mean that will be the team's fifth. 30 and a half seconds left, Uku will check out, and checking back in is Gordon Hudson Nelson for the first time tonight. The 10th grader. Yeah, English with three fouls as well. So the big guys having a bit of foul trouble for South in the third quarter here. Matches Koki being on the bench for North. That's right. So this is the North offense trying to set something up. One more set perhaps. Jack Caverly, the junior with it. Evolving as the season's gone on. A guy that really has a quick first step. So does this guy. Coke pull up 17 footer. Cash money. Oh, the cook. Three point and lead a and a steal. A heave at the buzzer. No. But the run by the Crusaders is a noteworthy one. They trail by four and they pop back for a three point lead to go to the fourth. Come on back to GP, won't you? This is Full Court Prep. Ah, yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? Gross Point South High School, some of the great scenes from this beautiful facility. Opened in 1928, phase two in 1953 with this beautiful gym. And then the Bull Center in 2008, the pool and auxiliary gym, as you saw. Great job by Chris Armani Rose with that uh, production and filmography. Welcome back, 42 to 39. Lance Cruz North on top. Chad Bush and Matt Horvath with you. Down low, Kozell out of bounds on that baseline. That's going back to Richards and the Blue Devils. Carter Richards doing a great job, undersized down on the, down on the block, defending tonight, and he's really battled down there. Yep. He's made it difficult. They've limited Kozell in the second half. Cut down low, Alex English off the feed from Richards. Good play, good set by Bernard, draws a lot of attention, opens up English right next to the rim for an easy deuce. Backcourt pressure, cross-court pass nearly stolen. Active hustle from Vince Vachon. Lance Cruz has got to get some flashers to that middle when Gross Point South brings that trap in the full court. Luke with a power layup and an unfriendly roll off that 10. Big boy rebound ripped down by Tommy. And back the other way, Bernard with a banger. And South has regained the lead by one. Some freaky athleticism. Man, you got some bunnies or what? Caverly to the corner. Cook. The hot hand kicks it out to Caverly. Looking to regain the lead. Caverly over the head with a reverser. Back and forth we go. My oh my. Great finish at the rim. Koki coming to the bench here to check back in. Mm. Coach Martin was able to steal another two minutes with on the bench, so he should be good the rest of the night. At least that's the plan. Yes, sir. Richards back out. English, the big boy. 4-3, Splash City. 
English with a triple. South regains the lead by two. Six minutes to go. Great ball movement there. Mm. Is it ever? Cook with it. Between three defenders around him, no. Tipped out of bounds. Back to the Blue Devils. Substitution back into the game comes Connor Koki, the senior at 6'7". So the size right now for the Crusaders is uh, abundant. <laughs> yep, it's playing a factor. Klein goes to the bench there. Klein, some really great minutes off the bench there. Sure has. They'll sit the 6'7". Senior down. But our back of the top side, it was picked. Caverly got him three on two. Caverly back to Kozell. That's a good bet, and that's two points. Tied at 46. They went back to the ISO with Bernard, and this time Koki came over real early with the help. There's another slip. Beautiful slip screen. You see English with a long ball, and he can finish at the rim, too. South regains the lead by two. Oh, what a dandy on coaches versus cancer night. Kozell, 4-3 with a man in his face, drills it. Another lead change, and Kozell now with 23 in this game. Not going away, big shot. Bench is fired up for Lance Cruz North. Visiting squad's feeling it. Bernard weaves his way to the hole and draws the foul. The creativity he really shows around the rim is really impressive. You see the uh, athleticism here. Yep. You saw it on that dunk too, yep. Mac. Using the left, switching to the right midair. Trying to go MJ style. Free throw up and good. We're tied at 49. Here's another look at the miss the free throw so we stay tied at 49 Kozell with the rebound back the other way we go and we got a timeout on the floor we'll keep it right here with 429 to go tied at 49 and another look at that dunk by Bernard yeah, just the athleticism there. Like I said, it's a D1 player, D1 athlete. Again, going back to the creativity he really shows around the rim, being able to finish with both hands, hands together, body turn, off the right foot, left foot. Get a look inside that Gross Point South huddle. And uh, Steve Bernard said, look, we balance this out. Steve Bernard, and you see Nate Schwarzy with his clipboard. So that's basically his defensive coordinator. Yeah. Bernard to the right, Schwarzy to the left. Gross point south. Steve Bernard was the Mac coach of the year, 2019-2020. 12-3 are the Blue Devils. Big win over Celine, 84-57. Celine just knocked off Ann Arbor Huron, mm -hmm. who was previously undefeated. A tough loss to Ferndale, a good Ferndale team, a team that we have 10th in our poll this week. A six-point loss. It was a game in which they led in the fourth quarter and let slip away. Mac Champs in 20 and 21. Adam Hess, you might recall, the former Eastern Michigan Eagle, transferred later to William and Mary. But uh, some rich, some rich tradition in history here at Gross Point South. Definitely. Steve Bernard in his fourth year, but has coached at Warren Lincoln. He's coached the girls here at Gross Point South. Coached the JV team at South and has also coached Madison Heights Madison girls varsity. A banker that's up and good, and the paint points keep it coming. This time it's from 6'7, Connor Koki. Yep, good finish with the right. Real patient in the post there. Six points for Koki. He does have the three fouls that Mac pointed out earlier. High on the right is Richards. Two point lead for the road team until now. We're knotted at 51. Mr. English coming alive in this second half. Give him 11 points. Four of five from the floor. Cross screen by Gross Point South. Little mix up there between Koki and Kozell. Coach Martin can just throw his hands up in the air. Kozell has it ripped and has it stolen. Stolen out of there. Give the steal to Tommy. 
Tommy McEnoe. 51 all. We saw the freshman game go to overtime. Left elbow jumper short. Fight for the rebound, and Richards has it. Oh, what a night for Richards, huh? He is not afraid to mix it up at all. Man. I These mean, are all important possessions right now. Oh. A reach and a foul. That's going to go on Cook. That'll be the sixth team foul, and that'll be the third on Cook. One more, and it's bonus time. Had one to give. South has one more to give. What'd you think of that? Crazy active hands by Cook. We've seen it all night. Yeah. Bernard with the basketball. Sitting on 18 points, kicks it to the corner. Dribble drive, lane floater off, and Cook with a rebound. In traffic, tied at 51, two and a half to go. Buckle up, baby. This one has yet to see in its best yet. Yeah, I would love to see the ball yet. Kozel's hands here, him and Koki work a two-man game. Down to Koki in the block. Shot up, no, whistle, and a turnover. A flip-flop for North. That's their 10th boo-boo of the game, four more than South. The top four make it. We'll get a look at the Mac Red standings momentarily, but all atop in a clean 8-0 record, unscathed are the Blue Devils. And they're on the ropes tonight at home with two to go. Richards to the rack, lay it good! Carter Richards with a K, plus two with two to go for the Blue Devils. Great blow by Caverly with his back to the ball. Doesn't see that he needs to be the man that needs to help with the rim. Shot up no, Cook is leading this team with 10 rebounds in this game. He's come up big from all over. Bernard smacks the leather, 95 seconds left. South by two. Anthony to the hole and he lays it in. Oh, what a quick first step and finish. Plus four, the Blue Devils matching their largest lead. And Zach Martin wants timeout in Gross Point. We'll take it with him. 125 to go, the Blue Devils by four, don't go anywhere. The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends, how to fit in, how to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 300,000 participants here in Michigan who take part in high school sports. There are the standings. A perfect 8 0 Mac for Gross Point South. And uh, Lance Cruz North at 3 and 5, looking and fighting for that third place spot and confident after their win against Dakota, who's surprisingly down in that fifth slot. Top four make it, partner. Yeah, Lance Cruz North, like you said, they struggle with a five game losing streak, but a lot of those closes were t or losses were tight. One of them was Daco to Dakota in overtime, another one to Roseville by one. And obviously play Gross Point South pretty tough at their own environment. They go right back to the post. Kozell had it ripped. Another strong play by Tommy. Tommy McEnone. So here we go. North by four. Minute 10 left in a whistle. And it's an off the ball foul. And this will put South the line for a one and one. And it'll be Richards to shoot it, line left. Yeah, Klein got a little too physical there, trying to battle through. Looked like they were going to run ball screen with Richards. Bernard. 11 points for Richards tonight. Also leads, excuse me, 13 points, make it 14 points. And leads him with six rebounds. He's been doing some gritty work around the rim tonight. Mac, hard to believe it, but this is the largest lead of the night for either team. Six point lead. What do you need here if you're North? You gotta get good looks. You gotta get good looks. Coach Martin probably gonna use a timeout after each bucket here. There's a good look. 
Kozell for three. Timeout. Yep, he gets his timeout. You can set the D now. You called it. Get a good look, get a good shot, and they got the right guy to take it, their best three-point shooter at 34%, Mr. Kozell. Yeah, I wouldn't mind him to see Koki get out of the game here, though, since he's got three, and we know we're going to be fouling. Don't see anyone going to the scorer's table, though, so they're going to roll with him. There you see that clean look by Kozell. Buries it. He's been quiet in the second half, but lo and behold, he's got 26 now, and they're going to need a run from Kozell. But now you're on defense, mm -hmm. and, and, and where do you shift now defensively if you're north and, and what are you trying to do if you're south and Steve Bernard offensively? If I'm north, I'm putting one of them big fellas on the ball to the name on the ball just to make, you know, be a pest, be a havoc, make it very difficult for him, maybe get a trap out of this. Uh, I think you want to foul probably everybody you could want to avoid if you can foul Bernard and Richards it seems like. Seems like they're setting up here in like a diamond press. Lance. Lines back, but they're, they're calling him up now. Yeah, that's the right move. He's 6'7". All that length you can yep. use now, right, yep. as a coach. This is fun. Yeah. You got some chips here. Richard's being real crafty, real behind that baseline. They're running deep. Yep. You like the depth there? Oh, yeah. That's, uh, that's knowing your own gym right there. Bernard to the hole, kicks it out, and now Richards will wait to get fouled. Silvestri will clear. Got to get him. Got to get him. Keep away with 42 seconds left and a foul called with 41 seconds. So that is the eighth team foul. One and one situation for at least one more try. That is the fourth foul. On Koki. On Koki. So that's a big one. That's not the guy you want fouling ideally. That's the only guy you don't want fouling. Richards line left to try to add to his big night. Bernard catches the headlines as he should on most nights, but this South team tonight doesn't win without Richards. Yeah, like you mentioned, he is the Robin to Batman here. Both free throws good. Five-point lead, 41 seconds left. We'll take a quick timeout and come back to Gross Point South for the finale. Coaches versus Cancer, thanks for being a part of it. My dad and my grandfather are officials. I've grown up around officials and seeing how much they enjoy being part of the games. As a student athlete, I've always appreciated the people out there who are willing to give back to the kids. The Legacy program lets me officiate while I'm still in high school, working younger kids' games. Officiating gives me a better understanding of the game, I get to make some pretty good money for a high school kid, and I even get to spend some quality time with my dad. There's help wanted. Just whistle. Ah, yes. What a great night. And uh, could not have happened without Tom Mercer. We thank Mercer and the Mercer Agency. And you can get auto, home, life, commercial. They got it all. Give them a call. 586-265-2304. TheMercerAgency.com. A Farm Bureau insurance company. A Michigan company. And uh, we're all battling with Tom, and, and, and we have him in our thoughts, and we are thankful for uh, him allowing us to make this broadcast possible. 59-54, five-point lead for Gross Point South over Lance Cruz North. Chad and Mac back with you, 41 ticks to go. What do you want to see from the Crusaders here? It looks like South's going to go to a zone to mix things up, which if you move the ball, you can get a good look for three. They do here, Cook for three, air ball. Close out by English. And a quick foul, and this will be a one and one, and they will get to the line. Did they get Tommy? Yeah, Tommy McInone will go line left. So this is the guy you would want over Carter Richards or over Bernard. Five point game though. This could move it to a three possession contest. Still a lot of time though. 27 seconds left, a lot of time. McAdone makes the first. South probably going to stick to that zone. It eats up more clock. North's got to get organized, which again will eat some clock. The three balls have kept North in it. They're shooting 38% from downtown compared to just 20% from Gross Point South. There's a whistle and a foul, and they had one to give, and there it is. Again, smart play. Well coached squad. Yep. 
Caverly to trigger. Into Cook. Cook. Back to Kozell for three short and out of bounds. And that just might do it. Lance Cruz North, fantastic job though. Really battled all night long. A lot of guys stepped up. Really did. And you know, there's some glue guys in there that chipped in towards the end. English, one of those guys. Yep. Dangerous pass, English ironically picks that up, but this is our G of the game that you'll hear from after the contest that will hold the rock and pound it out appropriately enough. Anthony Bernard, our G of the game, closes out Gross Point South, 61 to 54 win. He puts up 20, Richards puts up 17, and the Blue Devils have won the MAC Red title tonight on Coaches versus Cancer Night. 61 to 54, we'll come back with highlights, stats, and our G of the game right after this. Your dream, your drive, your grit, the heart and vision of every member of your team. We take it all, and from those threads of greatness, we weave a uniform of a champion. In many ways, our sport is just like yours. We've brought together a team of elite designers. We've put in the time and the sweat, perfecting our craft over 14 years. We've outfitted thousands of teams for thousands of victories, approaching each new project, each new game, like it's the only one we'll ever play. And let's be honest, we've done it all with a quality so unmatched that some can't help but call it perfection. You know, it's more than just a shirt. Look like a champion, play like a champion. A champion powered by the G. Hashtag G Brand USA. G Brand USA. Elite design, unmatched quality, American pride. We're proudly made in the USA. Well, in a game that went back and forth, and a game that changed 15 times, saw the lead change 15 times, saw 10 tied scores. I mean, we got our money's worth tonight, Mac, in this battle uh, that in the end, Gross Point South was too good at home, 61-54, and they knock off a very pesky and talented Lance Cruz North squad, and they sweep them in the season series. And uh, Gross Point North is the Mac Red champs. Here's some highlights here. And Mac, uh, look, it, we saw it from all different players. English was a big factor in the second half. He got a three there. Uh, and, and talk us through some of these highlights. Yeah, there's Carter showing off what he did in transition, really getting to the 10. Uh, did a good job. Him and him and Bernard both finishing some cross screens mixed up. Lance Cruz there and got English. Some open looks. Bernard showing off again that athleticism. Yeah, okay, that's, that's what Division I athletes look like. English came on, he had 11 points and five rebounds, most of that damage in the second half. South would win the fourth, 22 to 12, and they had to overcome a four point deficit themselves. Yeah, yeah, South did a great job. You know, they were definitely showed how battle tested they were. With three minutes left, they didn't flinch. You know, they, they played that tough schedule like we talked about. They were up 14 against Loyola and lost. They were up uh, against Ferndale with two minutes left and lost. And uh, another tough loss to River Rouge in overtime. So, again, very battle-tested and show tonight. We'll take a timeout. We'll come back with more from Mac in a moment. But when we come back, it's our G of the game, Anthony Bernard, right after this. Hi folks, Dr. Joe here again with Michigan Orthopedic Surgeons. Did you know that kids are not little adults when it comes to sports injuries? That's because of something called the growth plate. Growth plates exist all over the human body in our growing athletes. They're actually little cartilage discs that exist at the end of all the long bones. It's simply where a kid grows. The problem is that the growth plate can be the weak link. What might be a sprain, a strain, or a tear in an adult when they hurt themselves can actually be a growth plate fracture in a kid. 
So it's important if your kid has hurt themselves and they're not using their arm or they're not able to put weight on a leg, come see one of us, get an x-ray and make sure it's not a growth plate fracture. For more information, go to miorthosurgeons.com. Welcome back to South, as they call it. It's Gross Point South High School, and this beautiful gymnasium has seen a wonderful basketball game that saw 10 ties, 15 lead changes, all kinds of drama. And the man at the forefront is the Division I Mercer commit to my left, and uh, Anthony Bernard joins us now. Our G of the game, congratulations thank on you, a thank fine you. contest, young man. Thank you. 20 points for you, but the points doesn't tell the whole story. Mm -hmm. This was a game that you really had to grind out against a pesky opponent. Definitely. Uh, you knew you had a battle up at their place at Macomb earlier. Talk about what you had to do to win this game tonight. Uh, I mean, it's just coming out ready to play. I mean, that's what league play is. It gets, gets tired when you get to the second half of the season playing everybody twice, and then, I mean, you just got to come out with energy. And defense, I mean, defense is where, it's, where we win games. I mean, if we don't hold them to, I don't know what the score was, but, I mean, we don't hold them to the amount of points we do and play good defense, we don't win. A lot of the defense was forcing turnovers, and, and Mac and I both noticed the swats and mm -hmm. the slaps, and yeah. some of that looks like, you know, folks that aren't looking, like, how do they do this? As we get a look at some of your highlights, and by the way, that was a mm -hmm. nice little slam there. You Thank got some you. bunnies in Thank it. you. <laughs> uh, but the steals, let's talk about the defense mm -hmm. first. How are you able, guys able to get steals? Is that something you practice? Uh, it's, all, it's all communication and being in the right spots and getting them getting them to think something's open when it's not. So, I mean, that's just that's something we work on in practice and something we've, we've got off the court, which is just uh, uh, chemistry, which gives our communication better on the floor, which leads to steals and fast breaks and layups. You sound like a coach's son. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> What's it like playing for your dad? Uh, it's great. I mean, it's like having a coach at home, too, so you can learn stuff. And, I mean, Coach Nate does a great job with him, too. I mean, they're both just like giggle hand in hand because Coach Nate does the defense and he does the offense. So it just works well. And I know this is your night, but you're not the only basketball star in the family, I understand. I yes. I understand you have a sister that plays this game quite well. Tell mm -hmm. us about your sister. Give her some shouts out here. Yeah, no, she's really good. She's improving every year. She uh, she went down last year with the ACL tear, but uh, she's coming back this year. She's looking really good. Talk about your commitment with Mercer. I know you had an offer <laughs> locally at, at University of Detroit mm -hmm. Mercy. You decided to go down to Macon, Georgia, and into a fine uh, mid-major program that's made a lot of noise before. Mm -hmm. Uh, talk about the decision to go to Mercer. Why did you do it? Uh, I mean, it's just a beautiful campus, and the coaching. I feel like the coaching staff loves me, and I feel like I fit in great there, have a chance to play as a young player. So I feel like I could learn a lot from those guys. They all played uh, mid-major, low-major, Division One basketball. Yeah. Your league champs, mm -hmm. congratulations. Thank you, thank you. You're 9-0. and Nobody has beaten you in this league. Mm -hmm. You've won it now for the third time in four years. Yep. Uh, you've had a lot to do with that. How mm -hmm. proud are you to, to, to bring the – uh, mantle full here at Gross Point South with a uh, league title? Uh, I mean, it just feels great. All the people, I mean, there was one year we didn't win it when, I mean, I think that was the COVID year. Yeah. So, I mean, a lot of those guys got gypped out. We played like 13 games, so that's that's for them. And, I mean, really bringing this program back. I mean, last year we had kind of a down year and bringing it back to what it was before then. What's at stake for you guys? I mean, it's a tough district. It's a hard regional. The quarterfinals, I mean, mm -hmm. it, it's it's rough. And and you guys maybe are getting overlooked. Mm -hmm. I know the Catholic League gets a lot of love. Yeah. I don't know who loves them as yeah. much, you know. <laughs> but, look, you guys seriously get overlooked a mm -hmm. bit. How do you feel as the underdog going into your district and regional and quarterfinal and, I guess, looking into the future for your squad? Uh, I mean, we're fine with that. We don't really – we're not worried about what anybody else thinks. We're just focused on ourselves and doing what we can control. Um, and, I mean, when the balls get rolled out, we're ready to play, whoever awesome. it is. Keep doing your thing, man. It's a lot of fun to awesome. watch. Thank you. There he is. That's Anthony Bernard committed to Mercer. His team wins tonight by seven. He's a big part of it. Goes for 20 points. He is our G of the game. Check out those new lids. Do you like those? Yeah, they're sweet. Are they sweet? Yep. All right. I like them, too. Thanks, man. We appreciate you. Awesome. Thank you. We're coming right back with more from Mac Horvath and our analysis and highlights of this game. Gross Point South wins it by seven over their rival, Macomb, Lance Cruz. Coming back after this. You prepared to be transformed into a better version of yourself, shaped into a force that others can't imagine. We are part of something bigger. A force that never quits. America's Navy, forged by the sea. Check us out at Navy.com. 
What rhymes with great? Participate. Where does greatness start? Here, in the classroom. On the diamond. In the pool. On the field. Where will your greatness take you? To better grades. To more friends. Yeah! Be great. Participate! This one's in the books. Coaches versus Cancer goes to the home team. Gross Point South wins it 61-54. Chad and Mac back with you from Gross Point South High School. And Mac, your thoughts on this game? And we talked about the, the closeness of it. No team had a lead greater than four points until the final 90 seconds. What a great battle here. Yeah, definitely a great battle tonight. Uh, Lance Cruz North comes out on the short end of the stick tonight, but I think when they Look back at this. This is going to be one of their better performances of the year. Uh, and then you got Gross Point South obviously came out victorious tonight, locked up that league championship. Uh, hopefully when they get into that MAC tournament, they can find their way, them in Port Huron Northern, because that would be a battle that I think everybody in this area wants to see. Yeah, and that is a battle that the MAC red and the MAC white do. The top four teams from the red, the top four from the white. And, yeah, it appears as though uh, Port Huron Northern would be their biggest contender on the white side. That's a fun tournament that we'll see in the Mac Red. Uh, look, I mean, we got a chance to see Bernard. You got a chance to see Richards. You got a chance to see uh, the big boy English do some nice things. Gross Point South has a nice squad, don't they? Oh, yeah, definitely some nice pieces and definitely a team to pay attention to to March. Uh, like you and Anthony were talking about, uh, definitely a team that shouldn't be slept on. That regional is going to be tough. You know, again, they might see Port Huron Northern there again. They might mm -hmm. see De La Salle definitely in that regional. Uh, and then the winner of that's got to go down to Callahan, and you know that quarterfinal game is always a monster to get through. But like Coach Bernard said, their goal is to get to Breslin, and they're playing the schedule, and they're you know they're they're acting like a team that should be there. Meanwhile, Macomb Lance Cruz showed a lot of positives tonight. I mean, Kozell was good, but Cook was great. I mean, they had their moments with a lot of different folks. They competed with one of the best teams, uh, obviously on the east side for sure, and, and in this Metro Detroit area. What's ahead for this? Coach, well coached team by Zach Martin. We well, you know it's year one for Coach Martin, so you you want to improve as the year goes uh, goes on, and I think that's something that they're showing that they're doing. So that's always a positive right there. Um, so yeah, I think they just keep building off that. Again, they they bounce back. They beat Dakota this week. They had another good performance tonight. So continuing to carry that on and then get in that tournament. And they're going to play some of these bigger teams in that MAC tournament as well. So I bet you these kids want another shot at this one. I bet so. We've got some last-second uh, stats to pass along for you. 20 points for Bernard, 17 for Carter Richards, 11 for English, and they get six assists from Bernard to go with it, three steals. Gross Point South shoots 51% from the floor, just 20% Mac from downtown, but 86% from the free throw line. That was a big part of it. They go 12 of 13 from the stripe. Meanwhile, Lance Cruz North... Got a lot of output from the guy they told us would do some damage. Drew Kozell went for 32 in the first one, went for 26, 8 for Coke, and 50% uh, shooting for the game. Not bad for Lance Cruz, 30% from downtown. One late score to pass along. Thank you, Jamie. 66-46, University of Detroit Jesuit knocks off De La Salle by 20 in Warren tonight. Brother Rice and Orchard Lake St. Mary's on Tuesday night from Orchard Lake and Dombrowski, another banger in the Central Division, and we've got it for you here on the prep. Special thanks to all the great folks here at Gross Point South. What a fantastic facility. What a great town, and we're about to go dabble in it. Yes, we are, all of you. We want to thank Steve Bernard, and uh, we want to thank the athletic director, Brandon Wheeler, Wheeler hooked us up with some great food. What's it, what, that's a great grub spot. you got to find us a bar now. You're, you're spot on with your suggestions. We're following Wheeler. We're coming for you. Thank you very much, Brandon. We appreciate it. Also, thank you to Dave. Where's Dave? And uh, to Steve Bernard as well. My name's Chad Bush. Special thanks to all of our crew, hardworking crew. Chris Armani Rose on the floor cam tonight. Kyle Buchanan on a camera. And... Uh, we, we saved our, our top dog, the Boss Ross, for camera one. Yes, we did. Brad the Boss Ross on camera one. 
Evan Westfall on graphics, the Schwarzenegger, Matt Schwartz on replay, Fish on audio, and Alex Westfall, your executive producer. Our stat crew tonight, as always, working hard, extra hard with Pat the Stat, off on sabbatical. Jamie Johnson leading the stat crew, and uh, Austin Sonnenberg stepping up into that number two spot on the stat sheet. We thank his efforts as well. My name's Chad Bush. For my partner, Matt Horvath, time to say goodnight from Gross Point. Gross Point South wins at 61 to 54, and they claim the Mac Red title here at home on Coaches versus Cancer. Have a great night, everybody. So long.